our ingredients for our dessert Monte Cristo, we'll be needing some sliced bananas. We're going to make use of chocolate spread. Okay, if you don't have chocolate spread, you can actually make use of peanut butter. Okay? Then, we will also be needing eggs, some milk, you may use fresh milk, you may use evaporated milk. We also need some butter or margarine. And of course, we need our bread. Okay? Now, to start off, we have to do our mise en place when we make our dessert Monte Cristo. First, you peel the banana. Now, peeling means you hold the skin of the fruit and then pull it, pull it away with your hand or fingers. Okay? So, we have our banana. We're just going to be using around half of it for each sandwich. Okay? I'm just removing the part that I don't like. Okay, and then once again with my claw hold, I'm going to slice the banana thinly. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. Next, I will be preparing my custard. Okay, so for my custard, okay, this is where we're going to dip the sandwich. We will be needing an egg. Break the egg. Then you may use your fork to beat the eggs. I'm using a shallow plate so that when I dip my sandwich, I will cover the whole surface. Next, I'll be needing around one fourth cup for every egg, you need one fourth cup of milk. Okay, I have my one fourth cup. Then I'll need around two tablespoons of sugar. Add it to my custard and beat it once again. If you want added flavor, you may actually add vanilla or cinnamon. Okay? In my case, I love cinnamon. So I'm going to add around a dash of cinnamon. Just one, and then mix it up. So we set this aside. Let me put it here in front of you. Next, we prepare our sandwich. It's already now time to assemble our sandwich. So we're going to need two pieces of our white bread. If you like wheat bread, you can also use wheat bread, okay? Now, with my chocolate spread, okay? As I said, you can use chocolate spread or peanut butter, whatever is available at home, okay? So you get your chocolate spread with your dinner knife. Spread it over both pieces of bread. Okay, just a thin coat will do.
Okay. So once I um, spread my chocolate spread, I'm going to put my bananas. Okay, just on one side. So usually half a banana is good for one sandwich. Okay, so I have my bananas there. Next, I cover it with the other piece of bread, like so. Okay, now comes the fun part. Okay, the fun part is dipping it. You're going to dip it in your chocolate, uh, in your egg mixture. Now, this egg mixture is what we call a custard. Okay, so we dip it in our custard. Okay, and we set it aside. So we can prepare more sandwiches. You heat up your uh, stove and frying pan. This is a non-stick frying pan. And then you're going to need around a tablespoon of butter. The butter will just help it not to stick on the pan. Also, it can give it additional flavor. Now you notice with my egg mixture, I did not add any salt. Okay? Usually you can add salt, but since my butter is already salted, I don't need to add salt to my egg mixture. Okay? So I just heat up my, my pan, it's already hot, and the butter is already sizzling. So I get my sandwich and place it in my pan. We're going to cook this on each side for at least 3 to 5 minutes. Now how do you know if it is done? You have to look under, okay, with your turner, try to peek under if it is turning brown once it turns brown that means it's ready for flipping okay use a medium heat <clears throat> okay let me show you this is high heat or high fire now if you use this you might burn your bread so you lower the fire to medium and then place your pan Okay, I'm just waiting for around 5 minutes before I start flipping this. Now, the butter also helps in browning our bread. Okay? So, let me look. Not yet. It's still very um, pale in color. <clears throat> now, what we're actually doing this, <clears throat> the reason why you have to make it at medium fire you really have to cook the egg that was soaked into the bread, okay? Because if you use high fire, it will burn the bread, but the egg is still not cooked, okay? So that means you have to cook the custard, okay, before you start flipping. I think my bread is turning brown. Yes, it has turned brown. So I'm using my turner. I'm going to slide it under my bread, my sandwich, and flip it over. Okay. You notice that the bread has browned? Okay. It took around 5 minutes for me to cook this on one side. Let's wait for another uh, few minutes. While I'm waiting, I can make another one. This time making use of my peanut butter. Or do you want it with chocolate chips? I think you prefer the chocolate chips.
same. It's almost cooked. So let me remove it from my pan. And then let's put in the one with chocolate chips. And then you can slice it. Into a triangle. Like so. And lay it on your plate. 